This is the last part of the chapter Animal Kingdom that is phylum Chordata. Now continuing with the chapter of Animal Kingdom, so far we were do dealing with non chordates or invertebrates. Now we are coming to the next phylum that is Chordata. Now Chordata, phylum Chordata, it has the following fundamental characters. How can you distinguish a chordate from a non chordate? A chordate will have always a presence of a notochord. So notochord is just a rod shaped structure derived from the mesoderm which gives the main support to the body. And in most of the vertebrates all the chordates it's present during the embryonic development because then it becomes replaced by the vertebral column in the adult vertebrates. But in the protochordates, in primitive chordates, it persists in the adult as a notochord and it's present between the digestive tube and the nerve cord. Next fundamental feature of a chordate is the presence of a dorsal nerve cord. So that's a tubular cord present on the dorsal side above the notochord. Then the third feature of a chordate will be presence of pharyngeal gill slits. What are pharyngeal gill slits are simply openings in the pharynx that is going to open to outside. Or aquatic organism may these pharyngeal gill slits allow the exit of water that enters the mouth during feed, feeding and filter the food from there which is called as filter feeding. Or vertebrates may ye pharyngeal slits develop kis mein honge gill arches mein jaise fishes mein hai and give support to support to the gills or but mammals mein or birds mein embryonic stage mein hoga or baad mein kis mein develop hoga into jaw and inner ear bones fourth diagnostic feature of a chordate will be presence of a post anal tail jo posteriorly ek extension hai body ka and it is used for locomotion. Like in humans or apes may the tail is absent and it's present only in the during the embryonic development. In addition there are other chordate characters but a few are listed here. Ki bilaterally symmetrical hair, triploblastic hair, coelomate hair with organ system level of organization hai, and closed circulatory system. Now the phylum chordata is divided into three subphylums. Konse hai? Pehle hai Eurochordata or Tunicata usko bolte hai. Aur dousra hai Cephalochordata. Ab ye dono primitive chordates hai. And therefore they can be listed as protochordates. Aur tisra subphylum hai Vertebrata. Ab pehla lenge subphylum Eurochordata or Tunicata. Isme sare marine hai. Aur isme jo adult hai body will be sac like jaise yahan nikal nazar aata hai aur iske dekhne se samajh nahi aata ki adult ek chordate hai kyunki isme ye hai hi nahi notochord bhi nahi hai dorsal nerve cord bhi nahi hai to initially it was thought to be a non chordate but then they found ki when they discovered the larval stage to unko notochord usme mila uh, and it had a dorsal nerve cord present in the larval stage. So then they realized that this is the they placed it in the subphylum Eurochordata. Eurochordata kyu? Kyunki tail region mein, lar larva ke tail region mein notochord present hai. Or tunicata kyu? Kyunki inki body a thick covering, it is covered by a thick tunic means covering jo animal like cellulose ka bana hai ne to humne kya padha hai cellulose kahan hai plants mein le ya animal like cellulose like material hai usko they have given the name as tunicin that's why these are called as tunicata so what have we seen that all are marine so that you find it in c body is sac like and may be laterally compressed and it's covered by a thick tunic or test of cellulose like material called tunicin Notochord is present in the larval stage that's why it is called as Euro. Euro means tail or and a dorsal nerve cord is present in the larva. But ab jab metamorphosis hota hai ki jab larva gets transformed into an adult. 
नॉर्मली क्या होता है लावा थोड़ा सिंपल होता है एंड देन इट गेट्स चेंज इन टू एन अडाल्ट विच इज मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स या उल्टा है ऑपोजिट है सो so, हम क्या उसको बोलेंगे वॉट इट शोज विल बी रेट्रोग्रेसिव मेटाबॉफिस क्योंकि जो एक्टिव लार्वा है जिसमें एडवांस्ड फीचर्स हैं सारे कॉर्डेट के दैट इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ नोटोकॉर्ड डॉर्सल नर्व कॉर्ड फेरेंजल गिल्सलेट्स एंड अ पोस्ट एनल टेल ये सारे फीचर्स हैं लार्वा में लेकिन मेटामोफिस के बाद जो अडाल्ट है इट लूजेस ऑल दीज फीचर्स और खाली क्या है उनके पास रह जाता है फेरेंजल गिल्सलेट्स बस so this is what is this called as retrogressive metamorphosis where an active larva with advanced features will change into an adult which has which will be more simple and more degenerate than the larva so that is why this is called as retrogressive metamorphosis here we'll find case mein true coelom absent hai kyunki it is lined by ectoderm and what we did what did we say about true coelom ki it is always lined by mesoderm kyunki yahan pe ectoderm hai so it is not considered as a true coelom respiration through skin hai contractile heart hai blood vessels present hai and it is hermaphrodite that means both sexes are in the same individual fertilization internal hai and development is indirect there is a larval stage abhi humne retrogressive metamorphosis mein bola tha so examples is herdmania that is called as sea squirt acedia salpa doliolum pyrosoma and that is a bioluminescent coming to the next subphylum that is cephalocordata सिफेलो मीन्स हेड कॉडेटा मीन्स द नोटोकॉड कि मतलब इसका नोटोकॉड हेड रीजन से स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द हेड इट एंड्स इन द टेल रीजन तभी इसका नाम सिफेलो कॉडेटा सो ये सारे मरीन हैं बहुत छोटे हैं फ्यू सेंटीमीटर्स कहाँ पाए जाते हैं एट द बॉटम बरेड इन द सैंड एट द बॉटम ऑफ द सीज और इनमें सारे कॉडेट कैरेक्टर्स हैं नोटोकॉड प्रेजेंट है लेकिन कहाँ से हेड टू टेल इन द अडल्ट और फेरिंग्स में गिल्सलिट्स है डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम यूल फाइंड इज कम्प्लीट और ये मुंह से पानी लेते हैं एंड दैट वाटर मूव ओवर द गिल्सलिट्स सो उस पानी से जो फूड पार्टिकल्स हैं प्लैंगटॉन है दे फिल्टर दैट आउट तो उसको क्या बोलते हैं हम फिल्टर फीडर्स सो दैट्स वॉट वी सेड हेयर फिल्टर फीडर्स एज वाटर फ्रॉम द माउथ एंटर्स द फेरेंशियल स्लिट्स विच फिल्टर्स आउट द फूड पार्टिकल्स now you'll find that the note this thing um, nerve cord is dorsal and hollow and the but the brain is absent respiration through body surface circulation closed hai true heart is absent sexes are separate reproduction is asexual and development is indirect examples you have is branchiostoma or it is also called as amphioxus commonly lancelet jaise kyunki blade like structure hai so this is a branchiostoma that we have shown to ye notochord abhi humne bola na ki phylocordates kyu hai notochord starts from the head region and terminates in the tail region ek post anal tail bhi hai which is referred to as a caudal fin and this is the nerve cord here dorsal to the notochord present they possess now coming to the final phylum subphylum vertebrata subphylum vertebrata isliye bolte hain kyunki in mein vertebrates in mein notochord present hai but during the embryonic period aur ye notochord will be then replaced by ya to cartilaginous or bony vertebral column that's why we say all vertebrates are chordates That means these are subphylum vertebrata. ये तो chordates हैं ही हैं, but सारे chordates are not vertebrates because proto chordates we don't classify as vertebrates because they don't have a vertebral column. They just have the notochord throughout their life. So that's why this statement says that all vertebrates are chordates. They are because they have the notochord which is replaced by the vertebral column, but all chordates are not vertebrates. because all chordates that is proto chordates do not have a vertebral column now coming to the classification of the subphylum vertebrata it is further divided as follows ki vertebrata do sub divisions hai ek 
एग्नाथा है ए गैंथो स्टोमैटा है एग्नाथा उनमें जॉज नहीं है दे लैक द जॉज और गैंथो स्टोमेटा दे हैव जॉज एग्नाथा में सिंगल क्लास है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज क्लास साइक्लोस्टोमेटा अब गैंथो स्टोमेटा दैट मीन जॉर्ड वर्टिब्रेट्स जो है इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू सुपर क्लासेस एक पाइसिस है एक टेट्रापोडा है पाइसिस बिकॉज दे बेयर फिंस और टेट्रोपोडा उनमें लिम्स है क्लास सुपर क्लास स्पाइसेस इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इनटू टू क्लासेस यू हैव क्लास कॉन्ट्रिक थाइस एंड क्लास ऑस्टिक थाइस और टेट्रापोडा जिसमें लिम्स हैं यू हैव फोर क्लासेस क्लास एम्फीबिया क्लास रेप्टीलिया क्लास एव्स एंड क्लास मैमेलिया सो इट शुड बी हियर मैमेलिया इंस्टेड ऑफ मैमल्स नाउ कमिंग टू द सिंगल क्लास एग्नाथा बोला था जॉलेस फिशेस है तो उसमें एक ही क्लास है दैट इज क्लास साइक्लोस्टोमेटा साइक्लोस्टोमेटा क्यों नाम पड़ा साइक्लो मीन्स राउंड स्टोमेटा मीन्स माउथ सो दे हैव अ राउंड माउथ बट दे डोंट हैव जॉज सो माउथ वी फाइंड इज सर्कुलर एंड जॉलेस मगर इसमें हॉर्नी एपिडर्मल स्ट्रक्चर्स होते हैं विच फंक्शन एज टीथ सो दे आर एक्टो पैरासाइट्स ऑन सम लार्ज फिशेज मतलब उस पे विद देर दिस हॉर्नी एपिडर्मल दे आर गोइंग टू अटैच cause wounds suck blood and mucus and finally that fish might die due to infection and other reasons then body will be elongated with 16 to 15 pairs of gill slits aur isme jo skin hai without any scales so skin is smooth and slimy mucus mucilage present hai scales and paired fins are absent so they just have the dorsal fin and the caudal fin jo single hote hai paired fin jaise pectoral hai paired fins wo sare absent hai cranium aur vertebral column kya hai cartilaginous hai circulation closed with well developed heart and blood vessels ab isme ye hai jo adults hai they live in sea magar yahan they move to fresh water for laying eggs spawning means for laying eggs and this type of migration jahan pe adult lives in sea but goes to fresh water for spawning or for laying eggs this is called as anadromous migration then the adults are going to die phir jo larva nikalte hain they are going to change into or metamorphose into the adult jo wapas jayega to return to the sea examples you have only two examples in this group which is living till now that is petromyzen that is called as the lamprey and myxen that is called as the hagfish coming to the next class this is class chondrichthyes or the cartilaginous fishes so chondrichthyes why because they are endoskeleton is made up of cartilage so all are they are marine that means sea water streamlined body hai kyunki they have to swim in water and flat body endoskeleton just now we said is cartilaginous mouth isme ventral hai shark le lo shark mein mouth kahan pe hai ventral jaws are pa- powerful there and they help in predation aur isme kitne gill slits hai 5 to 7 pairs of gill slits separate hai lekin agar bony fish dekhiye rohu dekha hai ki upar ek गिल कवर होता है विच इज कॉल्ड एज ऑपोक्यूलम यहाँ पे इन केस ऑफ कॉन्ट्रेक्ट था ऑपोक्यूलम इज एबसेंट सो दे गिल्स आर नॉट हैविंग अ गिल कवर दे आर लैकिंग एन ऑपोक्यूलम अब इसमें नोटोकॉड है परसिस्टेंट थ्रू आउट द लाइफ स्किन टफ है क्योंकि इसमें माइन्यूट प्लेकॉइड स्केल्स है स्केल्स जिसमें स्पाइनी टूथ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स है एट इज एक्सट्रीमिटी एंड दे प्रोटेक्ट द बॉडी teeth jo hai in mein placoid these are modified placoid scales and are backwardly directed air bladder absent hai kabhi agar rohu fish kaate hogi to ek whitish color ka air bladder nikalta hai if you see in the internal organs of the fish this is absent here so iski wajah se they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking heart do chambered hai one auricle and one ventricle Now some of these cartilaginous fishes may electric organs say like example you have torpedo electric ray and some possess a poison string like the trigon so you had one one person killed by the sting ray that was steve irwin and he was known as the crocodile man and the sting ray 
the string sting ray mala the sting penetrated the heart of steve irwin and that caused his death cold blooded hai what term do we use for cold blooded poikilothermus that means they cannot regulate the body temperature sex is separate hai lekin males mein jo pelvic fin hai they bear claspers to hold the female during mating then fertilization internal hai and many will be viviparous matlab ki wo large yolk ki eggs they are going to be retained within the uterus of the female inside the female body hatch hoga and the young ones will come out hamare placental mammals mein kya hai ki the placenta is nourishing the egg sorry the uh, nourishing the young one magar isme nourishment is all present within the egg and that is present inside the uterus of the female fish example says scoliodon dog fish pretis that is the sawfish ya yahan pe ye sawfish hai this is the torpedo here these are the this thing uh, electric organs here then you have carcharodon that is a great white shark trigon that is the stingray next class that is class ostichthyes that is the bony fishes just like you have the rohu fish it's a bony fish so they can be marine or they can be fresh water endoskeleton is ka kya hai bony hai body as you know is streamlined one of the aquatic adaptations mouth is me terminal hai chondrichthyes mein humne mouth kya bola tha ventral hai chondrichthyes mein 5 to 7 gills hai yahan char pairs of gills present hai aur they are covered by an operculum or a gill cover ab isme skin jo hai cycloid or tenoid scales hai chondrichthyes aur cartilaginous fish mein plecoid scales the yahan pe cycloid pura gol aur thode se margins mein wavy margins they are these are the tenoid scales इसमें एयर ब्लैडर प्रेजेंट है जो विच रेगुलेट्स द बायोन्सी दैट मींस दे कैन रेगुलेट द गैसेस विद इन द एयर ब्लैडर एंड मेन कैन रिमेन विदाउट स्विमिंग एट अ पर्टिकुलर डेप्थ हार्ट दो चैम्बर्स है एक ऑरिकल एक वेंट्रिकल कोल्ड ब्लडेड है दैट इज पॉइकुलोथर्मस सेक्स इज सेपरेट है हियर फर्टिलाइजेशन इज एक्सटर्नल इन कॉन्ट्रिक्ट इट वॉज इंटरनल यहाँ पे मोस्टली ओविपेरस है वहां पे विविपेरस भी थे एंड डेवलपमेंट इज डायरेक्ट सो एग्जाम्पल्स वी कैन डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री लाइक मरीन दैट इज सी वॉटर में कौन सा है एक्सोसीटस फ्लाइंग फिश दे डोंट फ्लाई मगर जो इनको पिक्टोरियल गर्डल है दे आर लार्ज तो दे ग्लाइड ओवर द सर्फिस ऑफ द वॉटर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ मरीन फिश बोनी फिश इज हिपो कैंपस सी हॉर्स उसका फोटो यहाँ पे है दिस इज द ओनली फिश दैट विल बी वर्टिकल इन वॉटर नहीं तो फिश क्या होता है हॉरिजोंटल लाइक दिस स्विमिंग लाइक दिस मगर ये कैसे स्विम करते हैं वर्टिकल ऑन द वॉटर और मेल्स में एक ब्रूड पाउच होता है दैट दे कैरी द यंग वंस फ्रेश वाटर में क्या है लेबियो है रो फिश दैट यू दैट यू नो कैटला क्लेरियस दैट इज मागुर aquarium mein jo fish hum aquaria mein lete that is the betta fighting fish pterophyllum that is the angel fish then coming to the next class amphibia amphibia kis they can be aquatic as well as living in terrestrial habitats amphibia kyun bolte hain kyunki wo they need water for their reproduction so they can live uh, in water as well in on land so body here is divided into trunk head and trunk tail may be present in some skin yahan pe moist hai without any scales ab ye tetrapoda mein aata hai so most of them have two pairs of limbs it can be absent in some eyes have eyelids tympanum is represents the ear hamare mein tympanum ka hai bhitar mein what we call as the ear drum but here it will be on the surface of the head अब इसमें दो ऑक्सीपेटल कॉन्डाइल्स हैं जो यू हैव रेड इन द स्केलेटन सिस्टम प्रोजेक्शन राउंडेड प्रोजेक्शन एट द बेस ऑफ द स्काल विच आर्टिकुलेट्स विद द फर्स्ट सर्वाइकल वर्टेब्री सो इसमें भी दो हैं मैमल्स की तरह सो एलिमेंट्री कनाल इसमें एलिमेंट्री कनाल जो है यूरिनरी एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव ट्रैक्स जो सारे एक कॉमन चैम्बर में ओपन करते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द क्लोइका रेस्पिरेशन हेयर्स बाय गेल्स जैसे टैड पोल्स हैं दे रेस्पायर बाय गेल्स अगर फ्रॉग ले लो वो स्किन से भी क्यूटेनियस रेस्पिरेशन होता है 
by skin and lungs by lung they have a pair of lungs that is a pulmonary respiration heart is two chambered now they have two auricles and one ventricle they are cold blooded that is poikilo thermus sexes are separate fertilization external hair oviparous hair or development indirect hair so some examples that you have listed in in crt book is bufo that is the toad rana frog hyla tree frog ichthyophis ye important hai because ye bahut bar in neat mein bhi aata hai give a example of a limbless amphibians it means they don't have limbs thoda bahut girdles honge but limbs are absent so this is a example ichthyophis is a limbless amphibian salamandra that is the salamander coming to the class reptilia to reptilia isliye aata hai ab ye pura from amphibious lifestyle that means wo pani mein they need they have to go to water for reproduction but now they have come to the land ab kuch reptiles have secondarily invaded the aquatic habitat to latin mein repeal to creep or crawl that is why they got the name reptilia so ye kya inka mode of locomotion kya hai creeping and crawling jaise ek crocodile dekha hai ek lizard dekho how do they move terrestrial hai mostly body will be dry now because they can't afford to lose water so cornified skin hai epidermal scales honge scutes honge tympanum you will find will represent the ear just like in frog limbs ye present honge do pairs hai are two pairs tetrapoda hai heart is usually three chambered but you will find that means this may two auricles one ventricle hai but four chambered heart will appear for the first time in crocodiles there will be a single occipital condyle do kis mein the amphibia mein aur mammals mein yahan pe single occipital condyle is present these are poikilo thermus that means they are cold blooded ab jo snakes aur lizards hai because the skin is hard they shed it jab inko grow karna hota during their growth so they shed their skin skin scales as your skin has skin cast so at that time they move into dark places and when a new skin comes over they come out then sex is separate hai fertilization is internal oviparous hai and development is direct some snakes you'll find will have poison poisonous glands which are modified parotid salivary glands examples you have is like chilon chiloni testuda chameleon callotus garden lizard crocodilus crocodile alligator hemidectylus that's a wall wall lizard then poisonous snakes may have naja bengaris and viper now coming to the next group that is class apes that you know these have now adopted is aerial mode of life so most of the birds can fly except for some so here for that what are the adaptations for flight ki body is covered by feathers and most can fly except the flightless bird ek example jaise ki ostrich hai penguin hai emu hai etc ab isme for that what do they have ki four limbs are modified into wings और जो हाइन लिम्स है उसमें स्केल्स है सो दे आर मॉडिफाइड फॉर व्हाट वॉकिंग या स्विमिंग और क्लास्पिंग द ट्री ब्रांच अब टू रिड्यूस वेट इनमें बीक है और टीथ आर एब्सेंट सो दिस इज अडेप्टेशन फॉर फ्लाइट टू फॉर रिडक्शन ऑफ वेट स्किन ड्राई है विदाउट ग्लैंड है एक्सेप्ट फॉर द ऑयल ग्लैंड प्रेजेंट एट द बेस ऑफ द टेल सो यू मस्ट हैव सीन बर्ड्स सिटिंग एंड दिस थिंग with the help of the beak they use the oil from here to preen themselves spread that oil over the feathers what you call preening ab jo endoskeleton hai yahan pe ab fully ossified hai aur jo long bones hai are hollow with air cavities that means they are pneumatic so this is another flight adaptation so to make them light अब जो अब डाइजेस्टिव सिंस दे डोंट हैव टीथ अब डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम में थोड़े एडिशनल चैम्बर्स है एक तो है क्रॉप जहां पे फूड स्टोर होगा अब बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव टीथ दे कैन ग्राइंड द फूड सो दे हैव गिजर्ड्स फॉर ग्राइंडिंग द फूड सो 
दिस इज अ मॉडिफिकेशन इन दर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम हार्ट तो है कंप्लीटली फोर चैम्बर दैट मीन्स टू ऑरिकल्स एंड टू वेंट्रिकल्स आर प्रेजेंट वॉर्म ब्लडेड है दैट इज होम्योथर्मस एनिमल्स है दैट दिस दे आर एबल टू मेंटेन दर कॉन्स्टेंट बॉडी टेम्परेचर रेस्परेशन बाय लंग्स है अब इनमें एक और चीज है कि लंग्स के साथ एयर सैक्स अटैच होंगे बिकॉज दे हैव एरियल मोड ऑफ फ्लाइट सो दे नीड रेडी लॉट्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फॉर फ्लाइंग इन दी एयर सो दैट इज वाई एयर सैक्स आर कनेक्टेड टू द लंग्स टू सप्लीमेंट रेस्परेशन सेक्स इज सेपरेट है फर्टिलाइजेशन इंटरनल है ओवीपेरस है दैट इज दे ले एग्स एंड डेवेलपमेंट इज डायरेक्ट Examples you have is corvus crow, columba pigeon, cetacula parrot, struthio ostrich, pavo peacock, aptenodites that is penguin and neophron that is a vulture. So these, this is a flightless bird. This is a flightless bird. Coming to the class mammalia, they are found in a variety of habitats. Ab sab you can find it in. polarized caps you can find it in caves you can find it in desert mountains forests gra grasslands etc sab jagah milenge ye some are adapted to fly or sa and some live in water so unique feature isme kya hai presence of mammary glands to nourish their young ones do pairs of limbs hain that is adapted for walking running climbing and swimming or flying ab isme dusra unique feature kya hai presence of skin on the hair no sorry <laughs> presence of hair on the skin external ear or pinnae are present so this is another unique feature of this group now coming to the teeth so you have already read ki isme different types of teeth hai heterodontation hai and but these teeth are absent in egg laying mammals so heart yahan pe four chambered hai respiration by lungs hai वार्म ब्लडेड है और होम्योथर्मस है सेक्स इज सेपरेट है फर्टिलाइजेशन इंटरनल है विविपेरस है विद फ्यू एग्जाम एग्जामेशन एक्सेप्शंस सो विविपेरस दैट मींस दे गिव बर्थ टू द यंग वंस फ्यू एक्सेप्शंस कौन से होंगे एग लेइंग मैमल्स जो है और डेवलपमेंट डायरेक्ट है सो अब एग लेइंग मैमल्स में क्या आता है ओविपेरस ऑर्नेथोरिंकस और डकबिल प्लेटपस दो ही एग्जाम्पल्स हैं एंड दूसरा कौन सा है स्पाइनी एंड एटर अब विविपेरस में कौन सा हो गया मैक्रोपस कैंगरो सो मैक्रोपस कैंगरो यू नो दे हैव अ पाउच कॉल्ड मार्सुपियम इन विच दे कैरी द यंग वन टेरोपस फ्लाइंग फॉक्स कैमलस केमल मेकाका मंकी रैटस रैट कैनस डॉग फेलिस इज कैट एलिफिस इज एलिफेंट Equus, horse, delphinus, dolphins. They live in water. Balanoptera, blue bear, panthera, tigris, tiger, and panthera leo will be the lion. Now this is just for your neat ex exam, or sometimes they ask you in your board exams also, like write a few lines about prototheria. So class mammalia will find will be divided into three subclasses. First is prototheria. Is group me. क्या आते हैं कॉमनली इनका कौन सा ऑर्डर है मोनोट्रीम्स सो so, ये कंसिस्ट है एग लेइंग मैमल्स जिसमें अभी हमने बोला टीथ आर एब्सेंट बट इसमें कौन से मैमल इन कैरेक्टर है हेयर है एंड दे नरिश द यंग वंस विद मिल्क तो दूसरा ग्रुप कौन सा आ गया मेटाथीरिया इसमें हो गया कि जिसमें कैंगरू है अभी हमने बोला कि कैंगरू में एक पाउच है दे कैरी द यंग वंस बिकॉज बहुत छोटे हैं सो यंग वंस आर वेरी इमेच्योर and they are carried in the pouch that is called as marsupium tabhi is group ko commonly marsupials bhi bolte hain because of this so for example you have one example as kangaroo eutherium mein kaun se sare placental animals aayenge so ye thoda extra diya tha diya hai because sometimes you are asked what is prototheria what is metatheria or what is eutheria so that's all for today and with that we have finished the chapter on the chordates and next time we are going to start will be the biomolecules